not. I can he never said eat it. Just like yeah. I can't get right in there. Why? Honors Geometry on Wednesday, we wear pink. Okay? The 4th of March, SWBA, what's that stand for, Sarah? No. Yes, and the T is silent. Very good. Okay, use and understand trig functions for right triangles. Use and understand trig functions for right triangles, okay? Sections 7, 4, and 7, 5. I don't like 7, 3. We skipped it. Mr. Council, why does he say 7, 4, and 7, 5? We're combining them into one section. Great questions, guys. Keep it coming. Yes. I can put them on test, you know. I just keep on failing. Wait, wait, I said I'm on test, you know. I'm just trying to find it. Oh, uh, tomorrow? No. No, I think it's on Oh, Thursday. No. No, next Monday. No. Thursday will be reviewed. Yeah. What's the what's calling Monday? <laughs> Could I give these two legs different names as well? 
instead of opposite angle A, what can I call this one? I can call it leg adjacent angle B. I can call this one adjacent angle B, and I'm going to shorten it down to ADJ, okay? Leg adjacent to angle B, okay? I can call that one leg adjacent to angle B. Once again, I wouldn't want to call it adjacent to angle C, then we'd get confusing. But it's true that this angle is both opposite angle A and adjacent to angle B. We don't want to call it anything compared to C because that's confusing because both legs are adjacent. So what can I also call uh, leg B here? I can call it the opposite from angle B, so I can call this leg opposite angle B. So I'm going to short that down to OPP, like opposite angle B. Let's see about the down after those again. So each of these legs we can call in two different ways, either adjacent to one angle or opposite to the other angle. The hypotenuse is just the hypotenuse though, right? It's already clarified enough. Mm -hmm. But to actually differentiate between these two legs, we can say they're opposite or adjacent to the things. It's all based on the position of the non-right angles. Questions on that? Okay, so we're gonna move into what we call Sokatoa. Oh my god, Mr. Rogers asked Set me if we are working in Sokatoa. Like literally yesterday. Now you can tell her tomorrow. Not today. Oh. You said literally yesterday. Yeah, well I had to do that. Gotcha. So you can tell her today, you know, it was assembly. So she's like, oh. what's up, Taylor? You're my favorite Taylor Hardesty. And you're like, oh thanks, I know. You're my favorite assembly. And then after you had that little exchange, you're like, like, hey, you know how you just asked about this yesterday? Yeah? <laughs> well, guess what? We're there. Boom, so can talk. So ka toa. So ka toa. Gross. Okay. It does sound like a Native American tribe. So no. Mass. So. So ka toa. We have these three ratios we can form. We have sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine, cosine, and tangent. Now, sine, cosine, and tangent are ratios, but they're also functions. They're ratios. But they're also functions. So it's a comparison to two numbers, but it's a function because you take the sine, cosine, and tangent of an angle. You take the sine, cosine, and tangent of an angle. What do you take them of? Cosine, tangent. An angle. Very good, Rachel. Okay? So in this case, we're taking sine of angle A. <coughs> Before we get into that too much, though, from this angle A, let's label these three sides of the triangle compared to angle A. What would this be? The leg opposite angle A. This would be the leg opposite angle A. What would this one be down here? The adjacent leg. The leg adjacent angle A. Now, what would this up here be? Hypotenuse. Always, because it's across the right angle. That one doesn't matter compared to angle A. Are all of these going to be right triangles? Yes. Like this whole chapter is just right triangle after right triangle after right triangle. Okay. Why'd you Alyssa. Why'd you go to that triangle? Why'd somebody go to the triangle? Little A and little B. 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 Little A Gotcha. So I call this one like lowercase a, this one capital A. These capital A's already used all these two words here. What about lowercase a and lowercase a? No, lowercase a, lowercase b. Like we did at the top. Gotcha, I get what you're saying. Um, because we're so Katoa, this is going to help us a lot to help us with the opposite of a. That's a great question. I was really confused with what you were saying. I'm like, little a, baby, I'm like, we have them. Already. <laughs> anyway, thank you for thank you for hanging with me and explaining that, even though you got a little bit of frustration to happen. Okay. No, so sine angle A, like I said, it's a ratio, so it's gonna be something over something. It's gonna be the length of the leg opposite angle A over or divided by the length of the leg, or excuse me, over the length of the hypotenuse. I actually said leg, length of the hypotenuse. So you take the length of the leg opposite angle A over the hypotenuse. Now the only reason we said it's the one opposite angle A is because it's a sine of angle A. If it was sine of a different angle, then we'd say it's the leg opposite that angle. Cosine of 
cosine of angle A will be our leg adjacent to angle A over the hypotenuse. Um, we just picked this one angle to start with, but we could also go with angle B, the third angle B. Why do we have so cost though? So cost, hold on. Tangent of angle A will be the leg, yes, we'll see it in a second, is the leg opposite angle A over the length of the leg adjacent to angle A. So you might be wondering, Mr. Castle, what does that have to do with Soh Katoa? So exactly. So, okay. So, real quick fun fact. No, no, you're good. Real quick fun fact. Okay, so when I went to college, there was a friend of mine whose name was Zach Lee. He was like the quarterback for Nebraska. But, um, you guys probably don't know that. There was a quarterback in Nebraska years ago whose name was Zach Lee. He had the same name, Zach Lee. Now, whenever someone said exactly, he's like, what? <laughs> Or what do you want? Or you ask me, and like, and it's crack. So every time I hear exactly, I just think I'm like, oh, exactly, because that was the joke everyone made. Like, oh, what about? Him? It was like, I was like, oh, okay. At first, like, I hated the joke. It was like my least favorite joke ever. And then like, it kind of grew on me. That's like, a okay. classic dad joke, though. Yeah, that's why I said it grew on me. I'm like, oh, okay, that's pretty funny after all. At first, I was kind of annoyed. It's like, yeah. Anyway. I feel like you're gonna be like a really good dad. You should get a look at the comment. Okay, uh, there's lots of questions about Zach Lee. Okay, yes? I didn't see you yanking his arm. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I think it was years ago, so you weren't there. Um, yeah, great. Okay. Kevin. Mine was a fat beard joke. Okay. Beard joke? Oh, beard joke. Okay. That was pretty good. They got me. Yeah. Yeah. Sure a year. Oh, what? A year. You go an entire year without shaving. Oh, no thanks. What? what? Yeah, and then I shaved the Oh, yeah, I shaved the mustache for one day. To be Rock uh, Walking for Halloween. And then I shaved it completely. That was weird. That was what? It was weird. It was weird to me, too. So, yeah. Hannah was not a fan. <laughs> she did not like November very much. <laughs> but, like, the more we got in November, she kept saying, like, oh, now you look, well, we were boyfriend and girlfriend forever, and fiance, so yeah. And then she's like, oh, now you look more like my boyfriend. That's what she kept saying. Anyway, back on to Sokotoa. Sokotoa, S O H, sign is opposite. Over hypotenuse. It is how you spell sign. No, not this one. Wait, on our calculator, it's just S I N. Yes, I'll talk about that. No. No. It's going to say sin. Okay, that's it. No. Big brain here. So sine is opposite over hypotenuse. S O H. Sine opposite over hypotenuse. So, then we want to guess what ka is? Cosine adjacent hypotenuse. Cosine is. You're talking about it so you don't get it. Guys. Oh, no, I was just like, oh, I'm sorry. I guess it was really bad. They could have died. You literally have to. I probably won't, though. I, I think you're on like, Even if like I crack, maybe? Okay. Cosine is adjacent <laughs> over hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. C-A-H. 
cosines adjacent over hypotenuse. And this tells us the order too. It tells us what the trig function. Hey, ladies. Okay. It tells us the trig function, and it tells us the order we go in what ratio. Okay. What do we think tau is going to be? Tangent is opposite yes. over adjacent. Tangent. No. <laughs> is opposite over adjacent. Oh, that's what Sokotoa is for. I don't know. But yeah, it's also Sokotoa is the It's been even asking for a while. Sokotoa. Now, you might be wondering, Mr. Gossel, on our calculators, we see some buttons. We see SIN. Well, sine of angle A is abbreviated as SIN of angle A. Now, we still say sine. We still say sine. Okay. You say sine. Just like here, we don't say op, we say opposite. We don't say height, we say hypotenuse. Okay? Same thing. We don't say sin, we say sine. Okay? Just like for MR, the abbreviation for Mr., you don't say mer. Okay, you say Mr. You say the whole thing, okay? Same idea. We say sine of angle A. Here you can shorten it down to COS of angle A, cosine of angle A. We shorten it down to the first three letters again, cosine of angle A. The only time I should ever hear you say cos in here is you're saying cos of something or you're saying Mr. Cosol. Okay? Kevin? On uh, my uh, calculator, instead of saying like sin A, it's just sin A. Uh, that's a hyperbolic sign. Oh, that's just a sign. You also have the you also have the normal signs. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, you also have the normal signs. So you have the hyperbolic sign. That's that comes way later. That's not this class. Okay. And then tangent. What do we think that's going to abbreviate to? Tan. Yeah. Now, guys, it's winter still. According to the calendar, we're not going to get a tan. Tangent. Okay. You still say it long. Is it winter? It's still winter. We're in spring 14. The spring does not start until March 25th. Okay, 
Hang on. Goodness gracious. Not right now. Later. Okay, take it Wait, hold on. I have a question. If you're born on like the 28th, then, does that mean if you get if your birth comes on the 28th, you're on the first? Usually, unless you're unless the second or third cousin are somehow related, then you're really thinking about it. I'm not really it. sure it has to do with your birth. But typically, yeah. You would say I'll celebrate it. I'm just calling my best. I know. I saw Tim's spouse. I know her mom. Why are you salty? My dad was supposed to be here at the lunch, and he said he's making a costume on top of the end of the world, and I said you guys are the best of fun. Or the end of the world? The coronavirus. Oh. Did you tell him to pick up costume pieces at the lunch? Are you joking? You're yourself? disgusting. I know. Yeah. 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 Say no. Kevin, it's your question about leap years. No, it's about math. Okay. How do you use it in a calculator? Sign in a calculator. We'll talk about it later. Okay, we'll get there. Okay. You don't, you don't use sins. No, you use sine. Oh. Sin does not exist in math. Is it cos? It's cosine. It's cosine. 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 Say cosine. Say sine. Say cosine. Cosine. That's just cos. No, it's cosine. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Never mind. This is what we have to talk about. Okay. Time. How do you say that, Jocelyn? So, okay. Okay, you didn't miss the thing. Okay. So, sign of angle B. Oh my goodness. Compare to angle B. Let's go through and label the legs. So. What would this leg be compared to angle B? The opposite or the adjacent? Opposite. Okay, it'd be the opposite. So instead of, we, and I'm going to start calling it instead of saying, my goodness. Wait, so do we even need the 
is our answer. Why? For what? For sine and angle B, because sine is the opposite leg. Langman, that's your hypotenuse leg. 75 over 85. Which simplifies the 50 over 70. Wait, okay, I think I did my notes wrong. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Carly, what did you get? For your cosine angle B. I got 8 over 17. Okay, and what did you have first? Oh, I had 40 over 85. Yeah, which then simplified to 8 over 17, right? Okay, very good, I agree with that. Oh, oh. Sorry, say it all day. Gabe is sorry. Don't go yet. Gabe, look, think. You just think. Is that the first one? I think you're. 
Oh, I'm so smart. I'm so smart, I'm great. Nice to meet you, Gaden. I got you. Okay. Can I get a ball to come here and do my sign? Hey, Taylor. I'll just do this like a sign. Okay. Riley, let's do my tangent. Okay, I'll do some tangents. Adjacent leg 
and the hypotenuse in every problem. Okay, so based upon our reference angle, we're going to leave the opposite leg, adjacent leg, and hypotenuse. Then we're going to form our trig ratios as fractions, and we're going to simplify them if necessary. And that's what we just did in our example, guys. That's what we just did in our example was actually all of this, except we just didn't circle the reference angle. Everything else we did. And then we're going to talk pretty soon about choosing a trigonometric ratio because we're going to have to find sides. We're going to talk about how to choose a ratio in order to find sides. Yes. But it's on steroids, so you do a lot more of it. Are you serious? So this is like the intro to that. Okay. So we're actually going to do this part first. Okay. So and then we're going to go back up and talk about this. So using trigonometric ratios to find sides. How to find missing sides of right triangles. So here we're given one side and an angle. And we're actually going to say now this is enough to find the other side. We can find another side. We can find the other two sides with this. Okay. Before, this wasn't enough unless we had a special right triangle, 36 and 90 or 45, 45, 90, then we could, right? Even if we were on our phone, we couldn't do it. Okay? That's true. Okay? So, our first step is going to be marking our reference angle. Our reference angle is 35 degrees. I want you guys to do this with me. So, let's circle our, refer circle our reference angle, know where it's at. After a while, you guys don't have to circle it, but it might be a good habit to get into. Then we're going to label our hypotenuse. Opposite and adjacent. We might notice there's a little underline underneath an H, O, and A, which is from our Sokotoa. So what's our opposite adjacent hypotenuse? And you can just start labeling them O, A, H if you really want to. Okay? I'm going to call that H for my hypotenuse. O is X. It's the one you're given in this case. In this case, it's the only one we're given, and we never choose the right angle. That's a great question. We never choose the right angle, and it's the only non-right angle we're given. Okay? Yes, Kevin? So the angle of our right, or the, the opposite and adjacent is more than the reference angle? It's all compared to the, the angle we're, we're talking about, yeah, what we're referencing. Okay? So just like on our previous slide, when we had sine, uh, cosine, tangent of angle B, B was our reference angle, so we went compared to that. Okay? Circle the two that we are going to use. So in this, are we going to use adjacent? Do we have any information on adjacent? Or are we trying to find adjacent? No. no. But we have, and we actually don't have to circle it, but do we have information for the hypotenuse? No. And we're trying to find the opposite. So in order to choose, um, we have to say what we want. We want the opposite, that you're trying to solve for, and what you have, aside from the known value, hypotenuse. So we have the opposite and hypotenuse, so to choose this, after we label through these, to choose it, opposite and hypotenuse, what, which one are we going to choose? So no. Sine, because sine is so, S-O-H, opposite and hypotenuse. Those are the two we're looking at. We have hypotenuse, we're looking for um, the opposite. So then we're going to set up our trig ratio and solve. So we say sine of the angle, so sine of 35 degrees, nope, sine of 35 degrees, is equal to blank over blank. X over 14, the opposite over the hypotenuse length. Sine of 35 degrees is equal to X over 14. So instead of saying angle this now, we actually know the measure, so we're going to call it 35 degrees. So we set this up, and then we'll solve it like we would an algebra problem. Now you can't separate sine and 35 these are taking the sine of 35 degrees. Taking the sine of 35 degrees, this is all one thing here when we say sine of 35 degrees. But how would you get x by itself here? Multiply by 14 on both sides. Because those simplify out, multiply by 14 here. So we have 14 times the sine of 35 degrees equals x. Now to figure out what x is to the nearest hundredth, we would take a calculator. We would take a scientific calculator. You guys can have them on your phone, otherwise we have them up here as well. Okay, raise your hand if you need a scientific calculator. Raise your hand if you need a scientific calculator, you don't have one right now. Okay. Okay, pass that one back then. Do you need one? Oh, you can raise your hand. Raise your hand. Raise your hand if you don't have a scientific calculator. Okay. You can pass it back to Harvey. Okay. I'll pass this one back. So 
Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Depression. Depression, because you have reference for horizontal. Whereas this would be which one? Elevation. Elevation. But this one up here, we have no idea. It's, ne it's neither. Yeah. Or neither, if you prefer. <coughs> Let's look at example two real quick here. We're going to steamroll through these real quick. We uh, spent a lot of time on the, on the calendar debate. We have an extra day to use this tomorrow. But we're already gone. Okay? So, example two that's easy. A rope, stay 20 feet from the base of a building. Goes to the roof, forms an angle of 58 degrees of the ground. There's tenth of a foot. How long is the rope? Full of information. Helpful math tools to do what next to it? Draw a picture. Draw a picture. We have a building. But you only have two numbers there. So how am I supposed to do it? We have a building. We'll find out. There's a rope. Stake 20 feet from the base of a building. 20 feet from the base of a building is where this rope staked at. The rope goes from this uh, out here to where? No. The roof. So this is our rope. And it forms an angle of 58 degrees with the ground. Rope to ground, 58 degrees. What angle would this be that the building makes with the ground? A right angle, 90 degree angle. To the nearest tenth of a foot, how long is the rope? Rope up here, we can call letter X. Is this starting to click a little bit more about maybe what we might do? No. If we draw a picture, pictures are awesome. I think so. Hey, thanks. I do say that. Okay. Okay. So, with our. Okay. Anyway. So. Anyway. So we'll move not right now. So, for our, figure out what trick function we want to use. This is our reference angle. It's the not right angle we have. So what is this side compared to it? Adjacent. And this side is the. Uh, nope. Hypotenuse. <coughs> Which trig function deals with adjacent and hypotenuse? Cosine. So we're going to choose cosine. So we always take sine, cosine, tangent of an angle. So cosine of 58 degrees equals what over what? Uh, 20 over x. 20 over x. Adjacent over x. hypotenuse. Okay? So that's our setup. From our setup, we use algebra and solve. Now, do we want the x in the denominator? No. How do we get it out? Multiply by x on both sides. Simplifies x times the cosine of 58 degrees is equal to 20. Now, x and cosine of 58 degrees are multiplying. <coughs> How do I get rid of cosine of 58 degrees as multiplying with x? Divide by cosine of 58 degrees. x is now equal to 20 divided by the cosine of 58 degrees. This is a lot easier on a true scientific calculator than it is the iPhone. On a true scientific calculator, you can type in 2020 divided by, and then just push cosine of 58 and get your answer. On an iPhone, you'd have to type in 58, take the cosine of it, write that number down, and be divided by that number. Wait, the whole number? You want to at least to four decimal places for accuracy. So if I'm like a point three three, I'm not too sure. I want at least four decimal places if you're gonna write it out. But with these, you don't have to worry about it. Yes. The iPhone. Yep. You have to find the cosine of 58 degrees, write that down, and then take 20 divided by that number. So try to. Yes. How many decimal points for our answer? Yeah. In this case, to the nearest tenth of a foot, we're finding. Oh, right. so yeah. So x. Is approximately what? 37.7 feet. Okay. Yes, so you just type in 20, divide, cosine, 58, close your parentheses, or not. Nope. Don't
Rachel. Yeah. It's on Wednesdays starting this week too.